When we think of addiction, we generally think of substances, whether it be alcohol or drugs, gambling or sex. Something that's not really talked about in my opinion, and this is a very uncomfortable topic for many, is self-harm. Whatever traumatic event that has built up or led to the point where you become so depressed and so defeated that you decided enough was enough and you were willing and ready to give up. I'm not trying to romanticize or glorify what I'm about to say, so don't take it that way. When you are at that low and you have reached out time and time and time again and you have tried to seek help, just to even have someone talk to and listen to you. There is something that is very liberating when you are about to follow through with the act of ending your life. In that moment, for the first time in a long time, you feel free. In that moment, you feel no stress. You feel no anxiety, no guilt, no shame. And you feel Okay. Now this may not be everyone else's experience, but that was it for me. I'm not going to sit here and tell you my life was a lot harder than yours or that the traumas that I went through were any worse than yours. I don't know what you've been through. I'm not going to sit here and try and pretend to understand. For me and what I went through, it was a lot. It really messed me up. At 13 years old, I didn't want to live anymore. And I had made multiple attempts from overdoses, stabbing myself multiple times. And many of these ended me up in the hospital. Something somewhere was working overtime and didn't want me to succeed or be able to follow through. At the age of 30, I know what I needed then because I'm able to look back and reflect and see what I didn't have. Positive male role model. Someone who would have just sat there and told me it's okay or that it's not your fault. What happened to you is not your fault because I blamed myself for a lot of things that were out of my control for a long time that picked away at me and that cut me down day by day by day. I needed a friend. I needed someone I could talk to someone I could open up to. Don't get me wrong, I had friends. I did. I've always said it, I'm gonna say it over and over again. There's no shame in reaching out. There's no shame in admitting that you're weak and you need help. There's no shame in asking someone to just sit there and talk to you. That doesn't make you less. I think it makes you a stronger and better person to acknowledge that and see that before it gets out of control. There's nothing wrong with that. Life isn't always great, but life is always great.